Hello, I'm the review man. I review it so you can watch it. Uh, with the holidays, with Thanksgiving just right around the corner, in fact, it's about two or three weeks away, I thought I'd bring you this classic review of Married with Children, a Bundy, a Bundy Thanksgiving. In this episode, Al, he finds a t pie tin, and he tells a story about his childhood, about every, every Christmas, he has a pie tin, and he takes it down toward, down to a, um, shop called Aunt Maddie's and that and when he gives in the pie tin he gets a free um sweet potato pie I love sweet potato pie I don't like pumpkin pie but I love sweet potato pie and so what he does is he finds the pie tin goes down to Aunt Maddie's and see um and he goes down there with Griff a guy that he works with at the shoe store and they and he sees and Griff says you know Al, look at this. The, um, there's a there's a close for business sign to do a funeral. And then he asks this guy, he says, Oh, excuse me, sir, where's Aunt Maddie? She's down at the church, son. Oh, where's that? You go down here to take a right. Go down here to take another right. Then you take another right. Go up the street and take another right. Well, show me just cross the street. Yeah, but I wanted to ride to the barber shop. This, this is full of classic comedy. And there's loads of people there's loads of people at this funeral you got the great uh the woman that played the grandma in um first prince of bel-air uncle phil's mom you got you got um what's that guy's name you got james brown the nfl the nfl announcer you got, and there's a few other people. And while this, while he's down at the funeral trying to get this pie back, Kelly she finds this turkey. Um, she brings this turkey home. And Kelly, I will let you know now. If you haven't seen the show, Kelly's not the brightest bulb in the bunch. She's not even the brightest bulb in the whole. She's not even the dullest bulb in the whole store. She's that she's that stupid, but that's a story for another. That's a video for another day. And she finds this turkey, and Jefferson, Marcy's wife, Marcy's husband, he forgot to reserve a turkey, and Marcy's kind of ticked that she doesn't have a turkey. And so what they decide to do is they try to find different ways to kill Hank, Hank, which it, which is the name that Kelly gave the turkey. And we find out at the end of it that Hank was actually somebody else's turkey. I'm jumping ahead. And Kelly is so stupid that she's trying to get, that she's trying to dress up Hank. And Bud, um, Bud, Peggy, and Jefferson, they're all saying, you know what, he'll be, be much happier in this, in this stu oven. And she said, well, Hank's afraid of the dark. Well, if I turn on the pilot light, it has a lovely blue glow. And then Kelly says, I know what you're doing. You're trying to get Hank to like me, you, instead of me. Well, it's not going to happen. Then she rushes upstairs, locks herself in the bathroom. Or is it, it's either the bedroom or the bathroom. And Peg, she says, Kelly, Kelly, how many talks have we had through this door? And Bud says, Mom, that's the linen closet. We have a linen closet? Now the joke behind that is, if you haven't seen the show, Peg's not, Peg's supposed to be this homemaker, but she doesn't do an ounce of cooking, an ounce of cleaning, or an ounce of anything else, which makes her mother of the year. Let's give a round of applause for mother of the year, Peg Bundy. Yay! Woo! Yay! And let's see. And Ke Kelly says, "Fly away, Hank! Fly away!" And she's so stupid, she thinks that turkeys can fly, which they can't. Uh, so, and he goes plummeting down to the ground, and you hear a splat. He said, "I'm gonna fly up, Hank." And so, with the, with the turkey dead, they cook they cook the turkey. Back at the funeral, Al Bundy is Al is trying to get the, his hands on the last piece of on the last slice of pie. And the um, 
And then he says to the he says to the preacher, he said, uh, we shouldn't all we shouldn't there's only one person that this pie should go to. And then the preacher said, You're right, brother Al. This is a black church, by the way. You are this is a black person's funeral. Aunt Maddie was a black person that owned a sweet potato pie shop. If you haven't seen this episode, go check it out. It's on TBS. It's on TBS all the time. Or else you can go download it or watch it on Hulu or what have you. Anyway, he says, oh man, I think they're going to get the pie to me. Well, there's only one, per no, only one person that this pie should go to. The Heavenly Father. And then Al said, him? What him? He can get a pie anytime he wants. And so what they do is they put the uh, pie in the casket. to symbolize Aunt Maggie taking it up to God. And then Al says, he's thinking to himself while they're praying. God? No, no, Aunt Matt, uh, God, just give me a sign. Just give me a sign that, just give me a sign that I, need, I can get this last slice of pie, even if that sign is no sign at all. And when he removes the pie from her hands, the casket closes, everybody looks up. Al said, oh, she was cool. And then one of the people in the funeral was like, that no count but the boy is still an Aunt Maddie's pie. Get him. And so what him and Griff do is they do football plays. Al runs to the back of the runs to the back of the cemetery, uh, the funeral home. He's he and he's running to the back. Griff runs interference and throws the pie toward Al. Al is dipping and dodging and doing all this stuff. He runs out the funeral home with with the pie. And Griff is left left in the back. Be Griff is left. Because Al thought he was in the car with him. And so. Al gets back home with the pie. But before that. Uh, the guy. The little boy that. Uh, turkey that was. He said. Hey somebody told me that you. Somebody told me that y'all had. My turkey right here. And then I was like. She killed him. And he was like, no fair. I raised him for an egg. I wanted to kill him. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm acting out in this episode because it's one of my favorite Thanksgiving episodes. And if you ever seen Married with Children, I'm sure it's one of yours too. Okay. Oh yeah, and Terry Bradshaw and a few other people were in this episode like right at the end whenever they were doing like a little highlight reel of um, Al Bundy's football play and him blocking James Brown, the foot, the football announcer and the NFL announcer. And so, yeah, anyway, at the end of it, Al Bundy, he, Al, he has his piece of pie, pie, and Aunt Maddie's spirit is saying, Al Bundy, you share that pie with your friends. And she said, and he said, "Now what do I say? Now what have I always said? Oh, uh, put that cookie back, or put that. If you want that cookie, you're gonna have to pay for it. No, 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 not that. The other thing. My pies are sweeter when you share them. Exactly. Now, don't you think that you should share your pie with, with your friends? And he said, "Happy Thanksgiving, Aunt Maddie." And then he shares the pie. He shares it with Jefferson, Marcy, Kelly, Peg, Bud, and Griff. Six pieces of, six people." Actually, seven people having one piece of pie. Having one pie. That went, they must have cut it like not that big. So yeah, anyway, guys, um, that's my re uh, review. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Happy Thanksgiving. I guess I'm gonna post a few more videos. But yeah, anyway, guys, peace out. Have a good day.